Hey everyone, uh, my name is Tayo Shida and I just wanted to hop on here today and talk about Austin and KJ and as well as the locked in qu quarterback community as a whole and what those three three things meant to me as a person and a quarterback. So yeah, uh, let's just get right into it. Um, I feel like I could go on and on talking about the experiences I had with them and um, all that stuff, but I feel like I just want to give you a broad overview of what it's like to be a part of the community and what it's like to play for Austin and KJ because it is truly something special. Um, so yeah, I feel like a lot of times we see these quarterback trainers and we go to these camps and workouts and everything under the sun and we think to ourselves like, okay, yeah, like we're doing this, but like, why? Like what's, what's, what's the reason behind the drill? Like, why is this coach telling me to do this, do that? Like throw like this, do, 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 do. It's always do. Like, why are they telling me to do that? And that's the difference between Austin and anybody else and KJ and anybody else is they want to know who you are and they're going to teach you why, like why we're doing the drills. What does it help with? How How is it affecting your game? How are you getting better? And they want to teach you that before they're just going to sit there and demand you to do things. You know what I mean? Um, so that, that real authentic... Um, all the explanations and understandability just it really really makes the game slow down for you and makes it so much more fun because you understand it so much better right and for me personally um austin austin specifically was there for me in my darkest time of last year during my junior year of high school and it was pr by far probably one of the worst experiences of my life and i was at a really bad place here um and every step of the way austin was there for me and i he was actually the first person i went to about it because i was okay being vulnerable with austin like i was okay to talk to him about everything like that's the authentic person he is austin and kj want to know who the the person is here before they just see you throw the ball and just like as a football player as a quarterback you know what i mean like it's a personal level before it's a quarterback level so as much as they value quarterback play and everything like that, like who you are as a person and that, that relationship between the coaches and the players is so much more crucial to them than anything else. And um, we've all had that coach where we almost like play in fear and it's uncomfortable and it's just a, not a good headspace and you're always overthinking and you're like, am I good enough for this guy? Like, am I, am I making him feel like he, he's getting the most out of me like am I performing good enough to his standards you know what I mean like that is just such a toxic toxic relationship and I don't think it should be in any kind of sport let alone football and for quarterbacks where it's the most pressured position in the game um that's something we have to be okay with it's just like it's a life lesson you have to be okay to fail you have to be okay to take leaps in life and go out there and embrace the challenge and have courage to try new things and go set a different path than everybody else. Like we can't just sit there and fear that somebody make is making us like feel like we're not good enough. That's what Austin and KJ taught me is that block all those thoughts out, be who you are, be the person that's inside of you. We like one of my, one of my favorite quotes ever from a football player is Jalen hurts last year in the Super Bowl. He said, I had a purpose before anybody had an opinion. And that's, that's so true, so, so true. We all have a purpose before anybody had an opinion. People can say whatever they want about us, but if it's not who we are inside, then why try to replicate what somebody's telling us to do? You know what I mean? Like, why live a life in fear? You're not gonna get the most out of it. And I learned that um, through Austin and KJ. And last year during that dark time, I found my purpose and I, I dwelled on it for a while and I was like, what do I want to do in my life and change and community and helping people has always been one of the biggest factors in my life. So I was like, how can I apply that to the game that I love so dearly? A game that I'll, I'll lay my life on the line for something that has taught me so much here that I, I just need to repay the game of football for everything that I've learned. Um, so I said, let me, let me become a coach. Let me try to become a coach, at least for that fact. I love the game so dearly. Um, it means the world to me. And all I care about is change. And I just wanna make the world a better place. Um, 
And I learned a lot of that from Austin and KJ and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And if you're going to take a leap and try to find the courage inside of you to DM them on Instagram or ask for a workout or ask for a lesson, whatever it may be, um, I say you do it because for me, it was the greatest blessing of my life and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I love those two guys so dearly and this whole locked in community has grown so much and the people inside of it are so, so great. Um, I mean, I'm going to college with one of one of the quarterbacks from locked in, Nick Forbes at Penn State. Um, I'm going to college with him next year. So having those connections through locked in has just been so monumental for my life and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So like I said before, um, embrace the challenge, find the courage inside you to take the leap, try to talk to Austin, try to talk to KJ and trust me, they'll not regret it. Um, if you ever need anything, like I said, my name is Tai Yoshida um, and thank you.